everybody. Today we're gonna do a little shopping trip at Spain's biggest bike shop, or I think it's Spain's biggest bike shop. We took the train over to the next town of Selra, and we're gonna go to Bike Inn, which is a online retailer, but they also have a brick and mortar store. Girona itself has lots of really cool bike shops, you know, some of which we've featured, but they do tend to be focused more on uh, tourists, let's say and they don't have kind of the basic daily needs like a lock and tools and all that stuff in stock or if they do they tend to be a little bit on the pricier side so we're going to check out bike in uh, pick up some tools some parts that uh, i'm going to buy for a future hack video are you ready to navigate bike in <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> from what we've heard is that it functions a little bit differently from a traditional bike shop. You go there, there's like a point of sale computer, you make your order, and then someone pulls it from the warehouse. So downside is we can't touch and feel the things we're actually buying. And uh, hopefully everything we want to get today is at the physical store. Mm -hmm. We'd have things shipped, but we don't have a permanent address yet and shipping's its own Thing here in Spain, so hopefully this will do. So not a whole lot going on in Selra at the moment. Pretty, pretty quiet town, huh? Little pueblo. <laughs> yeah, little, little, you know, suburb feeling. Yeah. So a couple things uh, we're hoping to pick up today, like I mentioned, is some U locks, uh, so we could actually start bike commuting and not walk commuting everywhere. From what we've heard, uh, bike theft has become more of an issue. I think people have keyed in that there are lots of people. Uh, you know, vacationing in Girona with like $10,000 bikes and they make easy targets at the cafe stop. Invest in the good lock. Little interesting bit of uh, pedestrian infrastructure here. <laughs> hey. A bit of a walk to the uh, bike in. You can see it over there from the train station. If you walk just as the crow's crow flies from the actual train stop, to the bike in it's really short but there aren't that many pedestrian uh, crossings across the railroad so a little bit of a roundabout route we're taking very american don't you think <laughs> yeah yeah we would have biked over but then you have to get on the highway so it was uh six of one half dozen of the other and we wouldn't have had locks and i don't know if they'll they probably would have let us bring the bikes in but you know it's a it's a chicken or egg scenario there's uh, logistics and packing, and there is the uh, huge conglomeration that is trade in, which houses bike in, runner in, ski in, snow in, all those. All those. Did you know that? Uh, yes, but I, I want to know why it's got a two ends. Oh, because you can sleep there. Can you? <laughs> Thumbnail. Hopefully that'll make a good thumbnail photo. Here it is! All its glory. I guess maybe we go in that. Okay. Again, not quite sure how this works, so we'll find out. So we successfully ordered. That took some doing. <laughs> yeah. It did take some doing. Yeah. <laughs> but then uh, so the order pops up there. And I guess in theory we wait and they take it out. So we'll see. So one of the confusing things was trying to figure out what they had in stock in the store. Because um, that's different from what they have in stock everywhere else. And then paying. The first time I paid I used a US card and got triggered a fraud alert so I had to use our Spanish card and now yeah <laughs> now we wait, now we wait.
You did it! <laughs> okay. Okay. That was way more stressful and confusing than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's, I mean, it's a generally simple process, right? You go on the computer, you pick what you want, you buy it there, and they go get it and bring it out. But, you know, everything's more complicated when it's in another language. And... Yeah. There were small things that were just different. Like, the keyboard was different. Like, I was trying <laughs> to find, you know, it asked for your email address when you're checking out. And I, you know, muscle memory tried to do uh, at... There was like a completely different key. What was it like, Alta Grande? Yeah, Alta Grande. Yeah. yeah. And also like the, the point of service computer was super slow. And every time I hit the back button, it would just like break the website. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. But yeah, if you have patience, <laughs> right? Kind of, I would say, go in uh, with plenty of time yeah. and just make yourself comfortable and yeah, and or know exactly what you're looking for so you don't have to troll troll their website for hours. I think the problem was you knew what you wanted and then it wasn't it, it wasn't here, right. so you had to find a plan B. Yeah, I think of the like six or seven things I was hoping to pick up, we only picked up two of them. <laughs> uh, but they're important, we got bike locks finally, Yay! so we can do some bike commuting. Yay! But I was going to pick up some Shimano Q stuff to make a hack video on the Rivendell. None of that was in stock. So that stuff, you're going to have to figure out how to order and have delivered or place the order and pick it up later. I feel like that might actually be the better way to do it would be to place it, see if you can't place it online and then come pick it up here. Yeah, my hope in coming out here was that the, the computer in uh, the pickup center would be tied directly to the stock in the store just so we could, you know, walk away with things right away. And it was, uh, it was mostly there. <laughs> I tried to figure out what they had in stock at home in the store for pickup, but didn't see that option. Um, yeah, so it's just all a little confusing. I don't know, I guess one of the things that I thought was kind of neat is since it is this like warehouse setting, um, you know, things uh, like there was a, somebody there that got a pair of shoes and yeah. then like you know sat down you know they collected them uh gave handed them over the counter he tried them on kind of like ran around the <laughs> the waiting room to see if they were going to work out and uh you know took off so it sounds like you know they had fitting rooms in case you bought clothes, um, clothes or something so it seems like um you know what we heard is if if it turns out to not be what you want, you know, it's really easy to just return it right then and there and place a different order. Yes. <laughs> so. Another thing that I thought was really interesting was when you would place an order, it sends a confirmation email, which is like very slow to get, to get confirmed. So we'd put in the credit card information. We're just like standing there waiting for the order. But then it also puts, puts your order up on the screen with kind of a status bar. Yeah. Um, which I thought was interesting. It's it's kind of like yeah. going to the, the, the meat counter at the butcher right. <laughs> and waiting for a number. It's something I've not seen in, in the U.S. before. The closest thing I can think of is like a Universal Cycles in Portland uh, where you can place an order and pick up there and they get it from their warehouse, but they don't put it up on the big screen with like a, with a, with a status bar. <laughs> yeah, it's not instant like that. I thought it was kind of neat that there's um, like behind the... the the counter there big window and you can kind of see into the warehouse and you can see like the conveyor belt so i don't oh. know if there's like a person back there that picks it and puts it on the conveyor belt when that order comes in or if it's like a machine or whatever but um yeah you could actually see like it it came through and then the guy was back there oh. um making sure that it was the right I missed right, that. I missed miss the conveyor belt. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, what it's like to shop at Spain's biggest bike shop. A little bit confusing the first time. Didn't quite have everything we needed. But uh, now we know and now you guys know. Uh, hopefully I can get a hold of those uh, Shimano parts and, and make that video I was planning on doing. Um, if you guys like this content, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Consider supporting the channel. Join us on Patreon. And as always, keep the supple side down.